Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here, welcome back to the channel. It seems as though Nintendo are back up to their old antics again as we have a brand new update for Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now how does this affect you the Simu user? Well let me explain everything very quickly and very simply. So this update appears in your certain software packages as version 192 but in game it's 1.4.1. Uh, previously we were using 1.4.0 which appears in your certain software packages as v176 well how does this affect you the player you can be very happy to learn that it basically doesn't everything that you know and love works so your old shader cache from 1.4.0 works in 1.4.1 graphic packs work the libra vr memory editor works FPS++ plus plus works, everything is up to date and working just fine. So if you want to update to the latest version, you can. Now the question is, should you? And we don't really know if you should or not. There's no clear reason to. Uh, Simu Hook developer Raiko, he dug deep into the files and he only found a few bytes of data difference. So we don't really know what this update is for and what it does. Now, interestingly, if you check the Nintendo website, and you check out the different updates between Switch and Wii U, you will find that the Switch does not have version 1.4.1. So this seems to be Wii U specific. I've tested everything and I can confirm that it's working just fine. So feel free to update without any worries. Do you have to? It seems as though not really at the minute. We don't really know what this is actually bringing to the table. The update itself doesn't seem to cause any problems or interruptions to your playing experience. So feel free to get it and dive in if you want to. But don't be worried about this 1.4.1. What does it mean? What does it add? What does it offer? You can get it if you want to, but also you don't have to. So that's all you really need to know for now, people. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more content from me, The Complaining Gamer, remember to subscribe. All the links to the files that you need will be in the description below.